I am doing something very stupid. I apologize for stamping on your face right at the start of this video. That was very rude of me. I am doing something very stupid. I mean, is it stupid if it's just what I'm doing all the time? My default is stupid. Anyway, I'm going to sell copper. Uh, hence, I am making my way into the sky on a giant copper pole. The build limit is actually so high now that this could take quite a while. Okay, <laughs> this is the top. And what you're about to witness is a professional Minecrafter. Wow, we can actually fall for so long before we hit the ground and we're gonna- Oh, look at that go! So good! And up we go again. I think I have enough to get me all the way to the top again. So, we're gonna make our way all the way down. Now, the big question is, is this enough to actually sell copper? Well, we're about to find out. I'm actually worried that I'm gonna lose some items if I don't go down now, because it's actually taken so long. Uh, didn't make it. Right, let's get this smelting. Okay, let's try this again. And I'm starting to think already that the answer is a resounding... Oh, no! I was gonna say that the answer's a resounding no, but I've through so much here. This could have despawned. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of copper to lose. And back down we go. Um, was that pink before? And that's quite a substantial amount of copper. But what you got to remember, for a block, you need all of these. So we're talking, we're only talking a few stacks of copper blocks, which is still a pretty big deal. It's just not quite as much as we would like. So let's get this smelting away, and then we'll make the decision whether we're going to sell copper or not. One thing that I've kind of realized is my plan not to have a starter base has definitely backfired because I instantly, and I mean instantly, created this into a shop instead of living out of it like I intended to. And I don't see myself able to set up in here effectively. So can I get on get in on this like elf village thing? That would be cool. Little house here just to camp out on. What I need is to start and scout out a proper location for my base so I can start moving all of this stuff out. But I can't just go and start my big base without doing a few things like getting my gear enchanted or getting a beacon so you know it we're gonna we're gonna go and get get ourselves a beacon into the nether we go netherite beacons the works there is a nether fortress right here which i plan on using right let's set up oh! <laughs> what am i supposed to do go 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 there's too many there's too many there's too many <laughs> I don't like this. I'm not gonna die. I can't afford to die. That's enough of that. Right, let's try and get ourselves some wither skulls. The spawns are being uh, pretty slow. As far as wither skeleton hunting goes, this is not going particularly well. Barely anything is spawning, but uh, hopefully all we need is just a little bit of luck. Well, this is gonna take a while, so I guess I'll meet you back here once I've got a couple more skulls. I already got one from a previous expedition. I got really, really lucky. And now I'm struggling to get anything to spawn at all. Scar, what are you? What have you done? <laughs> um, um, hello. Hi, hi, Korean. Hello, what? how are you? What's What's all this? What's what? Leaves. Woo! I was gonna give you leaves. I was harvesting leaves, and I thought, man, you know, Green would love some leaves, wouldn't he? Woo! Look at the leaves, so shiny well, you, and green. you know, I, I didn't realize that was, that was an apple there because I thought uh, your your hands are red. You have been caught. Oh, my hands are red. No. What's, no. Uh, what, what, nothing here. What are you doing? Where, where are you going? Wow, there's nothing to be seen down there. Honestly, I wouldn't even recommend it. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, just seeing some um, copper leaving the vicinity. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it, it, yeah, I was expanding your, your storage system. It was a surprise. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, you caught me. I have got myself, if I could find it, I've got myself three wither skelly skulls there they are oh wow really yep check it out 
Uh, boop, boop. I don't see it. I don't see it. You're more disorganized than I am, to be honest with you. Still looking. Scott. Still looking. There's nothing in this box. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at those fancy heads. We have got ourselves three wither skelly skulls. I just need to go and get myself some soul sand, and we're going to take care of this thing. And those of you with keen eyes on my inventory will see I've got iron blocks and a pumpkin to make loads of iron golems. I have no idea if iron golems even attack the wither. I feel like everyone would use iron golems on the wither if they did, but uh, I used these on the raid in my hardcore series and honestly made life a lot easier. So on the off chance, I'm going to I'm going to have a bunch in reserve. Now we might as well ask if Scar wants to join us because uh, Scar and withers are fun. Well, hello there. Would you um would you like to join me on a fun adventure to spawn uh one of uh the The Michelin Scar! Yeah. Would you like yeah. uh, Oh to... no green! No green! No! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> you were so close. I really And I wouldn't have put it past you. I really want Think to. Think of pooter. I Think of pooter. Pooter? Pooter. It's putter. Yeah. It's pooter. It's not pooter, it's putter. Peanut butter putter. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay. So where do you want me to spawn this thing? Over here? Maybe, no, that's maybe over worse. Over here? No, that's getting worse. That that that's so no, that's so much worse. That's so much worse. What? So da, 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 da. I, I, you know what? I'm uh, you're not gonna do it. I, I don't believe you would. One. I don't believe Two. you would. Just over here doing some maintenance. Doing some maintenance work. Scar. Oh my gosh, he's gonna do it. Gonna do it! No, great! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh! 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 Pooter! Oh! Whatever it was. Oh! Oh! Okay, Scott. I'll be honest. I had. I was like maybe ninety-five percent sure that this torch would stop it spawning, but that's you know that's that's still a five percent chance. I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> I'm gonna hang on to this. Okay, okay. No, come on, let's hang go. Let's go do. This. Let's go do you. this. Let's go do this properly. Let's go do this properly. I promise. I promise. I won't. Oh, by the way, I I don't. Bye. Have any oh, he's there. Oh, I can't resist. I can't resist. Does he see that? Well, oh, here he is. Bad idea. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Impulse. We're gonna get more of these things. <laughs> Am I that predictable? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So, okay. let's uh, let's let's dig a little hole over here. Oh, maybe not here. We're gonna release the wither in that bit over there, and we're gonna have a line of golems over here. And I have no idea if the golems are even going to attempt to attack it, but we're going to find out. But you know, you know what's driving me mad is that if this works, why do people not do it more often? Because is that a sign that this isn't going to work? I go, yeah, that is a sign that is this isn't going to work. But like, <laughs> iron golems are so overpowered. The wither is set up, Scar. Oh, dude, this is happening now, so soon. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right, if you set okay. it off. I'm I'm ready. I think. Come All on, right. you can do it. Do oh, it. Yeah, this way, this way, this way. I'm just gonna run. Go, 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 I'm go, just go, go, run. All right. Oh, so now we just need to get it to come this way, right? Okay. Simple as that. But what what if it goes the complete opposite way? It should it should <laughs> go after us. I hope. You want me to lure it? Oh, Mr. Weather. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Weather. How are you? He's here. He's here. Wait, wait. I think I can like hit him. Dude, I'm getting hits. I'm getting hits. Oh, I'm gonna bring die. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so scared. I I'm panicking. I'm sweating. If we can get him to come through here. Oh, this is. Easy. Yeah, oh, this is real. Oh, man, Scott, this is still on with it. Scott, this is so easy. Oh, he's in. No, go, 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 go. Oh, oh wow. Why oh my goodness. Bigger? It's being <laughs> destroyed. Oh my gosh, you're a genius! Oh my! <laughs> you saw what I saw, right? Now? Careful, all, they're hurting themselves. We're all just withering away. Uh, oh, I Scar, thought they were beating each other up. Why does nobody do this? 
I don't know, but I think you're a uh, 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 Minecraft genius. We did this to wow. with the raids, and now like the the wither can be taken down in seconds by iron golems in a box. I I'm actually at a loss that this actually worked. <laughs> I doubted you to be honest. I will admit fully that I doubted. There was full doubt. I, okay, so let me let me make this clear that people you deserve the diamonds. Uh, all, all, <laughs> almost certainly, people do this. But I've not seen it. I don't see people do this. Not on the Hermitcraft server. Do you know? Have you ever seen people do this? No, 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 no. I usually die about 20 times at least. <laughs> oh, I think we've... Oh, I got really unlucky. Let's split the diamonds. Wait, is that just a single diamond? <laughs> it was just a two single diamonds. It's so unlucky. <laughs> well, thank oh. you for this... Um, Uneventful. Maybe maybe people don't do this because it's it's not as entertaining. Dude, there's more diamonds. Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, there's loads of diamonds. This, wow. This okay, wither. Then. This wither. What a what a guy. Here you go. Yeah, man. I'm gonna need to get some. One, two, we'll just keep three, these guys eight, where they're at, three. I suppose. So I've spoken to Scar for a good amount of time after we got the wither, and I have crafted up my beacon, and we have come up with a plan. We want to do something quite cool together. How did you get there in the middle of the day? Sus. Super sus. We're gonna do a collaborative villager trading hall way out in the wilderness. Now, the thing is, a lot of hermits are doing villagers, and that's because they're kind of a broken mechanic in Minecraft. They take an awful long time to set up, but when you're playing on a server like ours for a really long time, they really pay off in the long run. And we have really been preparing for this thing. Look, this is the chest. This is the villager chest. We've got loads of uh, splash potions. We've got a lot of golden apples. And we've got all the benches, etc. We are really, really getting ready to go and do this thing. But, you know, time differences means that I've got a bunch of time on my hands right now. So while we wait for Scar, I'm going to work on a starter base. The plan originally was to live in the entity, but it turns out living living under a rock isn't always a good thing. And that's what I love about Minecraft. You, you know, plans change and we can get inspiration from unlikely places. There's a really nice space here. And what I'm essentially doing is <laughs> moving all the stuff that's here, Green's looty, like, you know, you can see they've got a bee farm, I've got my furnaces, I've been just living outside the boulder. In it, you know, I should have just put all this in there from the get-go, but it, it just didn't work out that way. But what I have got is a really, really cool idea for a house. I've got a lot of copper, and I intend to use it. I need to age up some of this copper. The build I'm going to create is actually inspired by an Instagram post that I saw from a user called Yuma from Japan. And I really like the design of the roof they did, so I came up with my own build and it uses a lot of copper. So, without further ado, let's get cracking on making this starter base. I mean, episode three, I should have really done this episode one, but the boulder, the entity, it, it kind of took over. It's, it, it just, it spoke to me. It said, I don't want to be a house. So that's what we're doing now. Let's go. And here we have it, my not-so-starter base. It's basically my storage room. I really, really love this, and it's predominantly from this gradient of copper that's made it work all the way up to warped stem. And then, of course, I've got another gradient that goes from the darker colors all the way up to white wool. And I want to experiment a lot more with color this season, and this is a great start. 
It's lacking some details out the front, which I definitely plan on doing, but guess what? You guys, you're gonna be so proud of me. I'm gonna show you, look, 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 look what I did. Do you notice anything? There is no random junk. Yep, I've moved all my stuff, and that's not what you're gonna be proud of. What you're gonna be proud of is the fact that it is all labeled. It is all organized. I haven't been this organized since I made an item sorter that I didn't ever use. I've also not only organized it, but organized the chest in a way that can be decorated. So you can see I've got a few floating up here. And I thought maybe we could go through some little interior tricks together to try and make this look a bit more homely. At the moment, it well, I mean, it is going to be a storage area, so that's never going to change. But one of the things we can do if we've got a more functional base, that's what this is, it's a functional base. If you've got some protruding blocks, maybe chests like I do, one thing you can do is kind of separate it with a divider wall. So by placing a bunch of trapdoors, kind of like this, you separate these blocks and kind of create a brand new space without adding anything that's going to get in your way. Instead of a ladder, I've actually got myself one of these warped vines because you don't need to attach it to a wall and it kind of goes with the theme of this whole thing. Well, I don't know if there's really a theme per se, but there is something that I would like this to kind of indicate. I'd like my builds this season to tell a bit more of a story and this build is kind of intended to look like some sort of alchemist or magician or whatever you want to call it, whoever lives here, where well, it was me, is kind of studying the entity. They've set up base so that they can study the weird and wonderful rock that is the entity. We've got a wall that's a little bit on the messy side. So one of the things we can do is try and soften the edges with some staircases. Give ourselves some coving and this just rounds the off those really quite drastic corners. I've already added some beams in here, and I quite like the exposed copper being shown. It keeps those colours inside the house as well. What is going on outside this window? And I'm not going to overload you with information, but I think that's a pretty good start. Now, another thing that we can do is add some shelves for our lovely chests, but I recommend using a block that is contrasting to the walls. So I've used dark oak here and spruce for the walls. And it's always good to give a little bit of stability. So by that, I mean I'm going to connect these up to the wall so it feels like it's actually hanging down. I know that Minecraft doesn't have particularly realistic physics, but by simulating what would be real physics, it can make the build feel a lot more believable. So by adding that chain, it feels like all of this is actually justified and secure. And I definitely want to make sure there's some lights hanging from the ceiling. That's immediately made quite a big difference. So we'll come back to this a little later and maybe do some more interior tricks and tips because now Scar is online and it would be a great opportunity to talk to him about the villager thing that we're about to embark on. And oh my goodness, he has been also busy building. He's made us a portal. You may have noticed that my portal's gone, and Scar has replaced it with a mildly inconvenient portal over here. Oh, before we do anything, there's something super important I need to do. I've got a whole bunch of copper that needs aging, oxidizing, and I thought, what better way than making my copper farm right here. First the trees, and now the copper. It's gonna, it's gonna feel like an absolute prison. First, it felt like an oasis surrounded by trees, and now it's just absolutely surrounded by copper. Incidentally, while we're on the topic of copper, my goodness, yes, it looks great, but it was not fun to build with. I can tell you that it was not fun. Every single one of those blocks had to be waxed, and my inventory was just an absolute mess with different unwaxed and... Uh, cut copper i need more space this is not this is not doing it for me so what should have been maybe a one or two hour build ended up taking four hours i think it was worth it though and again shout out to yumar the post that definitely inspired what i built here i basically saw this gradient being used on a roof and i was like oh, i've got to do this 
I've always been pretty muted with my tones when I build or I stick to just two colors But I definitely want to try and branch out with my color palettes this season. There we go There we go. My copper is aging very very slowly that actually <laughs> looks like a prison That is a lot less attractive than the forest also I noticed this gift the pig pen and this adorable little uh, little pig here. The location for sale, cooked pork, four stacks for one diamond. Okay, so this is a free sample of food. Thank you very much, Jevin. But I've got to say, I'm strictly, and I mean strictly, a pie man. I, I just, I, see, the thing about these pies is I just, I can't get enough. And you know why they're the best food? They're the best food because they're like one of the worst foods. They they don't last very long. The saturation is low. And you know why that's great? Because you get to eat more pie. Look, here's my precious pies. I don't know why I'm so pie heavy, but I that's who I am now. I'm a pie guy. What on earth is Scar transporting in here? Is Scar transporting villagers into his base? Let's see if we can find Scar. And do you know what he's been doing lately? Lately, he has been climbing up to tall spaces and then jumping off and landing in a bucket of water. Ah! Just, just like that. We could put his MLG to the test. Bye. Oh. Where are you off to? Oh, I'm just trying to get a good vantage point. No, this is bringing back flashbacks from last life. <gasps> no, no, I know. I know. I've seen these things. I've seen these <laughs> things. <laughs> I've seen these things. <laughs> Well, you've, <laughs> you've been boasting about your MLG powers, oh, your MLG oh, skills. Uh, yeah, how do I unhook this? Can you do oh it? Oh my gosh, hello, <laughs> hello. Hey! Ah, I'll pretend that I didn't di nearly die. You're gonna go a little you higher. You ready? Just a little bit higher. You ready? I took off my boots! <laughs> oh! Yes! Oh no, it's a track. Oh no, the breeder. It's wow, not as fun when you get good speed. at Minecraft, Scar. What? The villagers. Oh no, there's zombies in my tree. <laughs> oh! Speaking of villagers, are we gonna go and uh, start setting up? Probably the worst you idea put ever. That fishing pole away. <laughs> you push that. There's nothing wrong with my fishing pole. I can't. I can't I, take I you. I feel very I, uncomfortable. I can't with the take you seriously face. when you've just got this line coming out the middle of your head. <laughs> come closer. Come, 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 come closer. Come, okay, come, I'm coming closer. Come, 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 yes, come I'm closer. coming closer. Okay, closer. we're very close. Taller though, sir. Okay, are we ready? This is too, this is a little too close. Uh, is it a little too close? Okay. Uh, uh, Each person uh, take a half a step. <laughs> half step. <laughs> Are you ready to go and do this villager project? Yes. I had I a word villagers. with Tango. Don't tell them. Don't I had a word with Tango, and he's got a proposal for an even more ambitious villager project. Oh, really? Yeah, should we go and say hello? We were uh, we were chatting about our villager project, and you had uh, an immense proposal that would take this thing into the to the next level. What do you think? The stratosphere. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yes. Ex so the idea is, you guys do the uh, you guys do all the booking and trading and everything, and I just supply the infinite stream of emeralds. Ooh. So Tango so Tango is suggesting an enormous raid farm above where we're producing all the trades so we don't have to actually do any infinite trade that would uh take a lot of time right. it's just gonna stream and just it's fall just, from the sky it's just buy 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 no no sell you don't ever have to worry about emeralds infinite so totems are undying forever uh, yeah exactly em yes. yeah exactly yes. yes we have a we have a village scoped out we haven't done anything we haven't been over there because the second you load those villages in they get eaten they're dead yeah, yeah. okay so we, we have a spot like? Me and Scar are gonna start uh, getting them all prepared, and then uh -huh. I guess I guess you can just build over the top. Yeah, if you just like leave me some spot in the roof or something, we will have an emerald shower eventually. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a really cool project. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a start on this pretty soon. So I'll give you the coordinates to the village, and then hopefully it will be pretty clear where Fantastic. to build. Fantastic. All right, well I'll stop by at a future date to see how it's going. Why are you over there, Scar? Scar. Yeah, yeah, Scar. <laughs> I fell off the bridge. We need to, we need I to transport some stuff. <laughs> I thought we were just heading over. No, look at all the stuff we need for all these villagers. Oh, we can't okay. Just, we all can't right. just go over there. We got, we got stuff to bring. Okay. He is not the greatest jumper. <laughs> we're ready. Donk's full of uh, potions of weakness.
I have no clue where we're going, by the way. I, I do. I'm just following your butt. What, what do you think? Oh, it's adequate. Huh. All right, well, I know what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> Squat. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Wait, I heard jubilation. Villager, villagers are here. Oh, there's, uh, oh, there's signs of uh, player alive. activity. This, He's sealed. this is our village. We're about to bring this down to the ground. Well, I think this is a great place to leave the episode. You now know what we're doing. We are setting up a villager farm. And I would say massive, massive thank you for watching as always. And I shall see you in the next episode where we are going to make a whole bunch more progress. We're going to be here for a while. I can feel it.